The last step in CFD workflow is data visualization and post-processing. Here you can visualize the physical values of pressure, velocity, temperature and any other quantities that you are interested in. If you want the value of some derived physical quantity then you can extract data and compute your derived value. For example, we can calculate the lift or drag force by using the pressure normal forces. This animation shows the flow of air over our Santa Claus. So how do we read these colors? These colors depict the value of velocity. Here you can see that we have a legend scale. The maximum value of legend scale is 3.3 e raised to 1. That means 3.3 into 10 raised to 1. That means 33 meters per second. And the blue color denotes a value which is very small that is almost zero. So wherever you see the red color, it is showing us that the velocity is 33 meters per second. And wherever we are seeing the blue color, we can say that the velocity is zero. You can even see the values in between the minimum and the maximum value of the legend scale. This is the pressure contour which shows us that the pressure builds up as the air directly strikes the first reindeer. These are the velocity vectors. Vectors are used to denote the direction of our airflow. You can see that the air is flowing over the wall boundaries that is the reindeers and our Santa. Here you can see that the air is going in the direction along with the Santa because any fluid tries to stick to the surface of the walls that it can find. In this case, air is trying to stick to the surface of the reindeers and the Santa along with his sledge. That's why the air behind the Santa is getting pulled along with him because the Santa is moving in the left direction of our screen. This is how we can visualize direction of airflow or any fluid flow around any object. The last step would be solution validation. Once a result has been reached, it is common to run the simulation again using different mesh sizes and shapes. Because in many cases, we want to develop the product and increase its performance. So we try different shapes and different geometries by using same physics so that we can find out which design is working the best for us. The results with different meshes should be same with difference of less than 1%. That means if you are solving a same problem using two different mesh sizes, the difference in the results like the velocity at outlet or pressure at inlet should be almost same for both those cases. At that point, we can say that the mesh convergence has been achieved. It is to be noted that the validation of the solution that we solve using CFD software is reached only if we have some analytical or experimental support to compare it with. That means we cannot directly rely on the CFD solutions that we get they are just a bunch of colors. To actually validate them in real life, we either need analytical or experimental support with us.